Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's another Monday morning. Beautiful Coburg, Oregon. This is the world headquarters of Marathon Coach. And behind me, it's delivery day for Coach 1314. We're going to take you around and show you a couple of changes that the customer made. But it's an exciting day here. Uh, we're gonna, we've got Dave Bash, the co-host of Marathon Mondays with us this morning. Dave, say hello to everybody. <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? Before we went live, we were mentioning that Dave is like my internal affairs <laughs> because Dave knows 100% more than Mal does and so to speak in the third person. And so when I say something like he says drive height. No. No, that's wrong. <laughs> I say drive height. Dave says ride, ride height. height. So the technical terms come from Dave. All the cool stuff comes from me. <laughs> None of and that's just, true. Just so you know, my purpose is to give him a bad time anytime I can. That's right. <laughs> Another thing we've got, Dave, here is we're going to talk about the importance of a delivery, uh, why it's important for the customers to take a delivery with someone who's trained like Dave uh, and to gain and earn that knowledge um, of their new coach, whether it be a pre-owned or a new coach like this one is. First thing I want to show you is the Maritime, I showed you a couple weeks ago, maybe it was a month ago, the new Maritime that came out. There it is, right on the cover of the, uh, epi oh, the episode. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Of the issue, uh, 1314. So it's not only on the cover, but it's right behind us, taking delivery with the new customers today. Let's go inside <coughs> and take a look at this before I show you the bays. Go ahead. Beautiful colors on the outside. You want to open up the bays? Take a look at those tiles, the, the backsplash tiles of the stairwell when you come in. I like that. Now we've had 1314 on the episode before, on Marathon Mondays before. I'm just going to take you through the coach and show you a couple of highlights. Uh, one of the things about this coach is it has the appliance center, and I am a big fan of the appliance center. I think Armand's going to turn off the AC in here. Um, the Appliance Center, uh, one of the things that I'm a really, really big fan of, um, I'm going to open this up for you real quick so you can see it. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, I know a lot of you who watch Marathon Mondays have seen it. Uh, the Appliance Center, I'm a big fan of it, you guys know that, uh, with the hidden art door, storage above, espresso machine, steam convection oven, and of course the wine cooler at the bottom. Uh, fantastic setup, all hidden behind this art door. Dave, I'll let you push that so I can stand over here. You want to turn on the light for me on that? Isn't that pretty? I love it. Uh, Fisher Paykel refrigerator freezer across from the appliance center. That's one of the highlights of this coach. Uh, all said and done, I think it's eight appliances that are in this coach thanks to the uh, hidden appliance center here. Um, another thing that I want to show you is in the water closets, the, um, come on in here, Armand, I'll show you this. Look at the sinks in this coach. Those are pieces of art. These are actually done by a local artist in the Pacific Northwest, and we source them for each coach. These are custom made for this coach. So they were custom made for 1314. The, um, our design, our design uh, executive got with the designer of those sinks and they made them especially for this coach, which is really cool. Now I know the new owners are going to put some of their own decor in here, including pictures, but uh, the decor in here is really nice. Good colors to go with the coach. Uh, the floor in here, is really nice. It's a like a slate tile. It's not real. Sl it's not a slate, but it's it looks like a slate. That's the way I've always described it. And then back to the half bath in the rear of the coach. And the tile work against that wall is really pretty too. So good morning to all of you watching. Stay with us because we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you exactly what, uh, exactly what everybody uh, wants to see. I know we've got a lot of people watching. In fact, I know that Robin is watching in Australia. So 
We've got people watching as far as Melbourne, Australia. We were talking before we went live on how do you say, is it Melbourne or is it Melbourne? So, well, Armand said it's Melbourne, and I agree with him. Uh, Robin is watching, so I'll let him comment on how the, the proper way to say Melbourne, Australia, or Melbourne. For us in the Pacific Northwest, we probably say it completely wrong. Uh, let's go outside. I'm going to put this back in here. Um, Armand can get a good shot of the shower on his way out. And then uh, I'm going to show you what the customers added to the bays. Uh, and that's one thing we're going to talk about that we'll talk with Dave about the delivery. And another thing you can see as Armand comes out of the coach is how the tile floor and the wood floor work together because it really is quite stylish. And then, one thing I almost forgot, the customers, uh, like a lot of our customers, are business owners and they do a lot of, they're going to need to do a lot of work from the road when they're out. Uh, when you own a business, you never stop working. And so, we converted this into a uh, printer, copier, fax machine. Uh, we do that quite often for people who need those capabilities. And so, we converted this drawer underneath the dinette into have that printer four-in-one capabilities. I'll make my way out. All right. So one of the things that uh, the customer wanted was they wanted additional patio lights. Uh, we see that, uh, Dave, we're seeing that more often, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, you want to light up the side of your coach? Let's add some patio lights. So. Your your typical H3 side is going to have, on this side, you're going to have three. Go ahead and light them up for us, Dave. You're going to have three. Well, I don't really count this entry door as a patio light, but it, technically it is. And then you've got these four lights on the side. So each side now has four lights. This side has five if you count that entry door patio light. All right. Bay one. Let's take a look. One of the most popular things about the H3 is the storage. And one of the best things you can do is you can add a slide out to that storage. Hold the button down and out comes your storage. I'm going to show you just how far it comes out. This is excellent not only for organizing everything when it wants it's in here, but when you're loading, when you're unloading, it saves a lot on your backspace. Dave, this is a question that the customer asked me this morning, and it's probably something that you'll go over with him. What is the weight capability of this? We have several different, we have two different weight ratings. We got a 1,000 pound rating and a 2,000 pound rating. Excellent. So you're, you, for the most part, unless you're putting, uh, a bunch of weights in here, <laughs> it's, you're going to be able to hold what people would normally store yes, in here. easily. Gotcha. And we have some customers that shoot professionally and they load it down with ammo. Absolutely. Because they have to have a lot of ammo with them. So. For sure. So it's really nice to, uh, for loading, for unloading, for sorting your storage, uh -huh. uh, to have this slide out. And then right back in. Now Dave's going to show you bay two. This is the, mo the money bay. The customers really wanted uh, to enhance their entertainment on the patio side. And what better way to do it than with an entire barbecue and refrigerator console. Very similar to what we saw on 1302. But I got to tell you, I love the colors. And wait till you see this refrigerator. I really like the, the, the refrigerator side. setup. So it's all on a slide out, very similar system. And you've got storage back here. And as you can see, this is all the owner's manuals and extra belts. There's your pop-up. 
so you've got extra space to uh, prepare food, to, to uh, put anything you need on there. Take a good look at this, Armando. Before you close that, Dave, there you go. These drawers are beautiful. Completely lined. It's our dovetail bamboo. Yep. Big thanks to our service department uh, and our cabinet shop and our production team because a lot of people came together to get this coach ready uh, for the customer. And then take a look at this refrigerator. This is a Summit Cold with a glass front, which is really nice because you can see everything that's in there. All of this cabinetry was custom made for this coach, for these appliances. And the, um, the barbecue comes out. Uh, it's just magnetized down. It's got little cut cutouts and you can lift it off to service it. Which or to is, move it, put it on the table. Or... That's a good point. And it's an electric grill. So you know you're gonna be safe. And another thing they did that I really like is they, there's already a power outlet in the bay over here, you guys. And the power for the coach, or excuse me, for the Coyote barbecue goes back through here, but they also put an outlet here so that the customers didn't have to reach all the way back in here when they needed to use power if that slide out is out. Completely vented uh, on the back side of this cabinetry for that refrigerator also. Everything is well thought out, something that we've done um, a lot and this is one of the things that when you're looking to either get into a pre-owned coach or a new coach, this is one of the things that you can add uh, to your coach to really enhance your uh, capabilities and your needs and your entertainment, quite frankly. Of course, you know that is your uh, entertainment bay right there uh, with the TV. Uh, let's show it to you. Can't miss the TV. I'm a big fan of this, and I'm going to show you why. Hold this button out. It's going to come out about eight inches and I'm going to show you why it comes out. On top of this console is your Crestron tablet, also known as your iPad, on the, on the launch port which also charges it while it's sitting on there. And then you just push this button and not only does it come out like this, but it can articulate either way. And the sound bar on this, now Dave I know you know how good that sounds. You get some excellent sound out of this. Yep. So you can watch TV really from any angle out here in your patio. Also your direct TV receivers and DVR are hidden behind here, correct? No, the, well, yeah, you got three satellite receivers. One's a DVR, but they're all right here in case they have to be rebooted. You can open the door and press the red button to reboot them. That's great. It's well thought out. I just got a reflection of my hair in this uh, iPad. Is it just me or is he getting a lot of gray hair? I'm getting a lot of gray hair. My <laughs> hair's bugging today. Wes in service said something, or no, it was Mike McGill. McGill said something about my hair this morning. Said it was not up to standard. <laughs> I actually put something in my hair today. And I'm not lie. wearing a hat, I got a little bit of a haircut. Uh, just one, a little bit of a haircut. Just a little bit of a haircut. <laughs> All right, I want to make sure that TV's all the way in and that's all the way closed. Now, real quick, I want to talk to Dave about the delivery. Uh, taking a proper delivery. Dave, when you take a customer, whether they're buying a new coach from Marathon or a pre-owned coach from Marathon, uh, can you speak to the importance of taking the proper delivery? Well, it's very important for the, not only the customer, but for us. Absolutely. If the customer can take the time to to spend with me so they can learn about their coach and maybe spend the night in the coach here on the lot and then I get with them the next morning to answer any questions that might have come up. I encourage them to work everything in the coach, washer, dryer, microwave, refrigerator, dishwasher, work everything because if something's wrong we want to know about it now yes it's while a good it's here, time to find something. This is the best place to find stuff if it's wrong. Right. We can get it taken care of right away. A lot of moving so, parts in a marathon, and so to be able to go through all those systems. A lot it, of different systems on board the coach. Absolutely. Uh, most extensive is the heating and cooling in the coach. It's very important. 
and push buttons in different ways to work things. And uh, if they can stay the night in the coach, I tell them better than me is time spent using the coach. Time spent using everything in the coach is, is better than me teaching them how to use it. Uh, they they remember better. Sit in the coach. Work the TVs. Yeah. Work the blinds. Sit down with the. I, figure out the AC. They've got three different iPads that work as as Crestron remotes. Sit. I want. I encourage each one of them to sit down and, and play with that thing. For sure. Push every button they can. Again, if there's something wrong, we want to know about it now. No doubt. So. Yeah. And uh, the customers that purchased this coach that are here today, they came in yesterday. Um, they are going to be here for at least the next couple days. They are the typical right way to do a delivery with, with Dave because they're here. They're going to learn the coach today. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to stay in the coach tonight. Hopefully. And they'll experience the coach. They'll live in it. They'll take a shower in the coach. They'll be able to work through all those systems. And then they'll probably come tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, with 10 more questions for you, if Very not possible. more. Or I'll go out in campground where they're staying and meet with them out there. Uh, absolutely. And another thing that they mentioned this morning before we went uh, live this morning with all of you guys is that they want to do some driver's training. And that is a great thing to do when you're taking delivery. Sure. She, uh, she wants to learn how to drive a coach because she hasn't driven anything this big. And so I've told her I've got a little course that I, I've trained our new employees here I've trained many customers how to, what to look for and, and the cautions to take. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, that's about it, everybody. Congratulations to the new owners of Marathon Coach 1314, a double slide H3. Big thanks to Dave Bash for his time again with Marathon Mondays. And big thanks to Dave who takes the time to really teach our new owners, whether it be pre-owned or new, to really teach them uh, and set them up for success as they head out uh, on the road. So, uh, Dave, thanks again for your time. Sure. Um, where, where uh, a lot of people always want to know, where are you going next? Do you, do you have a trip scheduled or? Nothing scheduled as of this point, but as you know. You never know. It, it can happen Ten minutes anytime. later, you could get a call. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for Armand and myself and Dave, have a good Monday. Don't forget to be yourself and do good things. Don't forget to continue being safe. Uh, as UPS shows up, it's delivery time. Take care, everybody.